Hello, my name is Kavino and this is Whiskey Wonder. Thank you for choosing our YouTube channel for your exclusive scotch and bourbon reviews. Nah, I'm just playing. Yo, this is Whiskey Wonder and we drank him. <laughs> we drank him. So it's spring break, which means everybody's like taking a vacation. If they're taking a vacation, a lot of people aren't taking a vacation. A lot of people aren't getting away, which I don't understand. But I'm on a, I guess you can call it a vacation, which means I'm not doing any fucking work because I'm taking a break. Anyway, in taking a break, that means I get to drink a little bit more, a little bit earlier than usual, which usual means at night, unless it's Saturday or Sunday, then I wake up and we start the day off with a nice shot. However, I'm on spring break and every day is a Saturday until that following Monday when I got to go back to work. So I also have 9% battery left on my phone. So this will be a quick one. So I was in the store the other day and I was like, you know, I'm going on vacation. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to just do whatever the fuck I want to do or don't do. And um, I need something special, something, you know, different from what I normally get, different from my regular bourbons and my everyday bourbons and my everyday scotch and my everyday whatevers. And so <clears throat> I picked up a, a bottle of something and I'd never had it before. I've seen it and I didn't want to get it because I didn't like the price. And because I didn't like the price, that means that, you know, paying for something that I have no idea if it's good or not. And I don't always go based on reviews because everybody has a different taste. One person might be like, oh, it's excellent. And somebody else might be like, oh, it's bullshit. So you know, I figured I'd break that mold and pay a little bit extra or a little bit more than I usually would allow myself and pick up something a little special. Uh, drank on it for a couple of hours and it's not bad, I guess. I am smoking a cigar on this fine day. Got the uh, Protocol Probable Cause by my guy uh, Juan. Juan Cancel, if that's how I'm saying it right, if I'm fucking it up, let me know. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna pour me a little bit more in the glass that's already poured. Because what time is it? I got nine percent. Twelve. Two twelve. Two twelve. It's two twelve. Is that is that what is that mountain 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 time? It's not Eastern. It's not Pacific, so it's got to be mountain, right? What is it then? I'm asking. Mountain time. Mountain time. That's mountain. What is this? Eastern, mountain, Pacific. And we're split into three time zones, right? Okay. So I'm going to take the stare as an answer, meaning I don't fucking know. Um, we're one hour behind Eastern Standard Time, which makes it two, at, probably at this point, because of that pointless uh, debate, 2.15, um, and I've been working on this since this morning, even went to the grocery store, but what I'm talking about is this bottle, I don't even know if I'm going to say it right, Glen Glassow, Glen Glassow, Glen Glassow, anyway, Torfa, if you don't know what Torfa means, Torfa means... It's a uh, Norse. What's that? That's like Vikings and shit. Torfa means peat. I don't know how true that is. I read it on Google, but Google never lies, right? Anyway, that's what I picked up today or yesterday. Um, was it yesterday? The day before yesterday to get ready for this day or last night. Anyway, Glenglas, 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 Owl, Glen, Glenglas, Owl. Um, as you can see. It's got, man, you know what it fucking has. It has the same color for the most scotches that I've reviewed. Uh, this one's un, uh, unchill filtered, 50% alcohol by volume. Um, comes out of Highland region. I'm not a big fan of Highland region or Speyside, but I wanted something different. And where I went to buy a bottle of something different, it didn't have anything different outside of your uh, Ardbigs and in your uh, your Lafroigs and 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 and, and on all that, all those places off the um, the Isle of Isla, so I settled for a Highland because to be honest with you, I have yet to have a peated a peated drink from Speyside or 
Highlands region that I did not like. And I think it's mostly because of the, the fucking smoke, the peat. The glass glass, the, the Glen Glen, the, the Glen Glassow, the Glen Glassow. I don't have to put. Anyway, this one is out of Highland. They did use a little peat. It is subtle. Um, I've, like I said, I've been drinking on it a little bit here and there since yesterday. On the nose, you've got the little bit of citrus, you know, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of fucking, I don't know. It's, it's I think it's double, double uh, oak cast field filled with the bourbon and shit. So um, I did a brief overview on some other reviews and I was like, I never understand those because they're like, oh, and a hint of pear comes through in the nuance of the nose. And I'm like, I ain't never had a pear that tastes like scotch. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm shopping in the wrong grocery store. However, that's what it looks like. It looks like all the most of the other ones that I've had. Uh, same color, that, that, that orangey, ambery, that fucking apricotish, fucking uh, dehydrated urine color. Um, and then on the nose, like I said, a little bit of sweetness. But there's like a lingering smokiness to it. They only they only distilled it with, at a 20 ppm on on the on the fucking uh, on the on the peat. So it's not gonna be overwhelming like like I love. But hey, the smoke is subtle. The taste is sweet. There's a little sea air on there. I know sea air because I go to the beach once a week. I mean, once a, once a year. I wish we went once a week. I know they would love it, but hell no. Um, so I kind of know what sea air tastes like, especially when you sp sit out there all day in the sun drinking until you, you know, are curled up in the shower puking. But whatever. I'm not going to bring up old shit. Um, it's not a bad drink. It's not a bad drink for $61. Um, I wish it was 54 I think it's worth a $54 payment. 61 is kind of stretching it. But like I said, it's a special time. And I needed a special bottle. And so I pick up the glass. Glen Glass Owl. To tofu? Torfa. <laughs> it's good. I give it a, I, you know what though? Out of five stars, star, uh, five being the greatest. I'll give the Glasachlach Torfa a, I'll give it a four. I'll give it a four because it is definitely doing the trick at the 50% alcohol by volume and the surroundings and the environment. I got a lake, a look overlooking a lake right there. My son's over there, I don't know, training worms how to swim. I got my wife and one of my daughters over here putting together a, 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 a sloth yoga puzzle. And my other daughter in there watching Empire. I fucking hate that show, but whatever. Probably gonna go in here and commandeer that TV and play a little Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Why? Because it's my vacation. I do what I want to and I'm grown. Whiskey Wonder. Try the, uh, I'm gonna show y'all the bottle because I really can't pronounce this shit. You see it? Take a screenshot. Ready? Three, two, one. And then, and then if you see it, pick it up. It's a nice little bottle to add to your collection. Uh, not overpowering on the smoke. Not overpowering on on uh, over over the board of all the all the uh, whatever the fucks you pick up on your tongue when you when you drink it. So four out of five. It's whiskey wonder, and I love wind chimes. <laughs>